Hey guys and gals, Greg and Mortis here with a new uh, DVD Blu-ray 4K update for you. Got a pretty massive amount for me. Uh, so I think without further ado, we'll just jump right into this. This is probably going to be a lengthy one. Uh, first thing is, is the Life and Times of Grizzly Adams DVD, the complete series. Yes, I'm a sucker for Grizzly Adams, okay? Uh, this is all uh, 37 episodes, and I'm kind of excited about this, honestly. Uh, Grizzly Adams, kind of part of my childhood, and, you know, look at old Dan Haggerty. <laughs> you can't go wrong. Multiple discs here, which I'll straighten up one day, but uh, I'm, I'm going to jump into this one, okay, guys? Th this is actually kind of cool. Should I do the beard? Should I go for the beard? Come on. Comment down below. Let me know. Do I go with the Dan beard? I, I think I probably do, right? Who knows? But anyways, this is super cheap at Walmart, by the way. Go pick that up, DVD, complete series. Uh, next one, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is mainly for my wife, but it's also for me because she introduced me to it. Uh, the great, 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 amazing David Bowie. And this is a movie called Mr. Wright's Secret. I don't know how many people actually know about this flick. Uh, it's not ever been released on Blu-ray or anything. This is the DVD release. We found it on eBay. And, uh, oh wow, a must-see. The strength uh, lies in its humani in humanity. Uh, it's basically a story that uh, David Bowie um, was dying of cancer, and he had a neighbor, this kid that was dying of cancer as well, and he kind of mentored him. Well, when David Bowie passed, he left him a ring, and there's like a clue, some uh, things that he had him do. It's a really touching story. Uh, sad, so if you don't want to cry, I'll probably not watch it, but uh, such a good movie, man. Got a great soundtrack. Mr. Rice's Secret. There again, somebody please release this on Blu-ray or 4K, please. Uh, Scream Factory 7. I don't care who it is. Somebody pick this up, but it's Mr. Rice's Secret. Super excited to have that. Uh, next one up is also for the wife. <laughs> and she's probably going to go, huh. Uh, this is John Travolta's Staying Alive. Now, who doesn't like staying alive, right? Who doesn't like John Travolta doing the whole dance? This was more of the, this was the sequel to Saturday Night Fever, okay? So this is him after the streets of New York. Now he's into broad, you know, Broadway, but kind of a play. Uh, it's actually not a bad flick, guys. Come on, let's go into your masculinity and know that this is not a bad flick. Uh, <laughs> the music's good and John Travolta's awesome. Uh, so yeah, anyways, <laughs> I'm going to leave that alone. Paramount, staying alive for the wife. <laughs> Another one, a bunch of these right here I picked up for a buck twenty-five at the Dollar Tree. I've actually seen this one before, and I went ahead and picked it up. That's The Bad Samaritan. The Bad Samaritan. Uh, not a bad flick. This one's got uh, David Tennant, who was from the Doctor Who series. He was one of the Doctor Whos, uh, if you watch that series. And this is actually not bad. And it's David Tennant playing something a little bit more uh, darker and a little bit more uh, ew, than what you would see in a Doctor Who. So not a bad flick. Some doors are better left unopened. Uh, this one's released by Sony. There again, they had it at my local Dollar Tree, so I picked it up. Uh, here's another one for my wife to go, ah. and I got to get this on Blu-ray, and I may actually own this one on Blu-ray now. I think about it. I need to look up into all my movies here and see. But anyways, uh, this one was uh, Quiver. Yeah, Quiver. Anyways, it's called The Fanatic, and it's John Travolta, and John Travolta plays an autistic uh, super fanboy of, of a certain actor, and it goes all awry when he goes to meet him. Uh, it's actually a really good flick, guys. I'm telling you, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed this one, one of uh, John Travolta's better films in the last several years. Uh, all he wanted was an autograph. Now, hey, to all you celebrities that don't like to give fans autographs, maybe just once, just go ahead and do it. Go ahead and get that autograph out. Uh, not a bad flick, man. John Travolta played an awesome, awesome role here. Uh, this is DVD, but it's dollar twenty-five, and I'm pretty sure I own the Blu-ray of that one. Uh, next one up for dollar twenty-five was Annalise Exorcist tapes, and it says the terrifying story that inspired the exorcism of Emily Rose. Uh, don't know anything about this, but I do love Emily Rose and and the case there in the movie. So we picked this one up. Don't know a lot about it. Uh, other than it looks like some documentary, horrifying stuff, includes documentary on Annabelle, Michael, and validity of the Exorcist tapes. So I don't know. We'll check it out. Uh, we're, we're sucker for that memoir. Uh, here's another one. This is a uh, Woody Allen 
don't know nothing about this. I know some of y'all may. I don't. I picked up. Um, I picked up quite a few of his recently. Uh, Shadows and Fogs, Zelig, 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 New York, New York, the Purple Rose Acario. Uh, for whatever reason, he, uh, Dollar Tree is doing a lot of the MGM releases, and here's some of them, Woody Allen. Uh, but this is another one. It's called Another Woman. Another Woman. And this one, uh, I don't know much about it. Uh, just stars Mia Farrow and Gene Hackman mostly. So, hey, I'm all about it. I like Gene Hackman. Uh, so why not? Another Woman. If you know about it, let me know. Uh, next up here is another one picked up and this is um, Elizabeth Olsen and this is supposed to be Elizabeth Olsen's first movie so picked it up and um, this is 20th Century Fox and it's Martha uh, Martha, Marcy, May, Arlene anybody know anything about it? I don't but for buck 25 I'll try it uh, looks kind of like it's got some good action and stuff in it so we'll, we'll try it and give it a watch uh, once again Elizabeth Olsen I think this is her debut flick and the next one up is some music. Who don't like some music, right? Uh, this one right here is a DVD plus CD collector's edition, and it's Susan or Suzanne Vega live at Montremex 2004. Uh, this has the CD soundtrack in it as well. Uh, so we're going to check it out. It's got uh, 20 or 18. Uh, it looks like she did 18 songs in the concert, and then you got a bonus tracks from 2003, and then a CD. So. Uh, Sure, why not? We'll give it, you know, one of these live concert footages a go. So that's our DVD. So let me slide them off to the side here as they fall. <laughs> uh, next up, we'll do some Blu-rays, okay? Uh, first one up here is going to be from Severin. I love Severin. And uh, this right here was something that our good friend from Phantom Galaxy, Nathan Bartaball, host over there, had told me about. So I picked it up. Uh, something new we're doing on Land of the Creeps Horror Movie Podcast is, is every other week we're doing a thing called Double Double. And it's where we're basically, uh, uh, myself and Ian Urza will be doing reviews of Italian giallo horror films. And then uh, my wife, per, uh, Pearl, Twisted Temptress, and I are doing television horror. So I picked this up. It's 31 classic episodes on two discs. And once again from Severn, it's called Tales to Keep You Awake. Tales to Keep You Awake. It's a Spanish uh, series that is uh, in lines it says of, of Tales from the Crypt. Uh, so I'm super excited about this. It's got Tales from the Spanish Twilight Zone, the Chico Ibanez Serradori uh, story, uh, introduction by Narciso Ibanez Serrador and press conference. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to this, man. 31 classic episodes, Tales to Keep You Awake. Yeah, check that out. Look. <laughs> Super excited, Severin. Uh, next one up here was a gift from Nathan Bartabaugh, our friend over there at uh, Phantom Galaxy. Man, I'm super excited, but huge fan of John Hughes. Huge, huge, huge fan of, of just movies of that era. And here is Weird Science. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorite films. Anthony Michael Hall and, uh, oh, man, Kelly LeBrock. And I don't never remember the other guy's name. Apologize. Uh, but anyways, this is the story of the two guys that are the two kids that create a woman. And it's their woman. And it's Kelly LeBrock. And man, what a beautiful. This is Steelbook Special Edition. And it's beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful by Universal. Look at that son of a gun. Glow and shine. And, and my wife's getting me because staying alive just hit the floor. So she picked it up. <laughs> Robert Russell. Robert who? Oh, yeah, it's got Robert Russell in it, too. Uh, I don't know who the other kid is, but we definitely have Robert Russell, and I love Robert Russell. Anyway, still but version of Weird Science, Blu-ray. Thank you for that, Nathan Bartaball. Uh, next up here is a uh, collector's edition from Vestron. This is number 28, and uh, it's Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 3, 4, and 5. On Blu-ray, had this thing for under 15 bucks. I think it's like $11 or something, which is insane. I don't know a ton about number five. I don't know that I've ever seen number five. I've uh, seen number three, and I'm vague on number four, honestly. So, uh, once again, you can get these through Vestron. You can get them a lot at Walmart and stuff, too. Super excited, man, uh, to own these. I love Silent Night, Deadly Night. It's one of my all-time favorite Christmas horror movies, um, especially back in the day. You know, there's been some really good heavy hitters this year in 2022, or last year 2022, I should say. Uh, but Silent Night, Deadly Night's always been one of my all-time favorites. And then you got, of course, Silent Night, Deadly Night 2, uh, Garbage Day. But, yeah, so here we go. Let me open the disc here. 
looks like they have them yeah so that's that's really cool they have them in the, uh whoop, 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 digital code <laughs> sorry sorry folks uh but you got individual discs check this out man that's actually sweet that they all have their own disc and art man that's awesome so uh vestron always does a great job lots of bonus features on these so i'm really looking forward to checking this one out the silent night deadly night collection part three four and five from vestron uh next up here is a uh Shutter original series and it's Creep Show. I did a review on this, uh, I think last episode or a couple episodes ago. Uh, I'll go ahead and show up, but it is Creep Show season three from Shutter. If you have not picked this up, man, once again, won't go into it too much because I've already did the review for it, but uh, it's a really great series and this is a really solid release. Check it out. Uh, next up here is a gift from our friend Mark uh, Shabble over there on uh, Facebook group, and he's such a great dear friend of ours. Sent us this. Uh, uh, Christmas Carol. This is a Christmas Carol with Alistar Sim as Scrooge. Uh, I had never seen this one and absolutely blew me away. This is an amazing uh, rendition of Scrooge in the Christmas tale. Uh, Mark and my wife and I watched it via internet and uh, watched it together on Christmas and it was such a freaking great time. Uh, this is released by VCI Entertainment. Uh, I like VCI Entertainment. They did our Dark Knight and Scarecrow movie that I love. Absolutely love that movie so much. They released it, and they, they've done quite a few releases. Uh, but this was a good one. This was actually a good one. So Christmas Carol, Alabaster Alley. Uh, next up, uh, these two made my top 10 horror movies of 2022, and they were both released by Ty West. Here is X, the Blu-ray. Absolutely love X. Man, that was the first one released. If everybody remembers, took everybody by storm, took me by storm. I uh, picked up the Blu-ray with the slipcover case. Absolutely love it. This is an amazing, amazing film. If you have not seen it, man, you've got to get it. It gives you the vibes of Texas Chainsaw Massacre and some of the great films uh, back in the day. It definitely feels 70s, and I loved it. Uh, Ty West knocked it out of the park, and Mia Goth, holy cow. Uh, Brittany Snow and some of the cast, uh, Cut Cuddy, uh, in this one as well man this is, this is a really good one uh get this one okay and then on the same year and at the end of x i'll give you a spoiler if you haven't seen it wait till the very end of the credits because it gives you a a stinger for the sequel or shall we say prequel and that is pearl yes this is pearl blu-ray no it's not my wife but it's pearl okay and man this is such a great uh prequel to the x they fit perfectly together and uh this is a different feel of a film where x is more of a a slasher it's more just a lot of uh man just some really visceral stuff pearl is more psychotic and psychological and there is a little bit of gore in it it's mostly style, uh following the story of the character pearl uh it's basically following her as a young lady and how she become who she is an ex and uh man this is great dude mia goth oscar worthy in my opinion oscar's coming up really soon uh definitely oscar worthy for her role in this one and stay because there's a stinger at the end of it there's a new one coming out that's right the third one which will be released hopefully this year in 2023 i believe it is right pearl I believe it's 2023 from Ty West, and it's the third one, and I think the final, and it's called uh, Maxine. Max with three X is Maxine, and it's supposed to take place in the 80s. So excited about it. So anyway, uh, next up is another one I picked up, and this one is from ba -ba 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 Scorpion. Scorpion release, and this is a Lucio Fulci film that I've never seen. I have never seen this one, and I wanted to see it, and I went ahead and picked it up uh, via Blu-ray, and I'll go ahead and open it up before I show it to you here. But uh, this one right here is a Lucio Fulci film called Murder Rock. Murder Rock, and uh, I, anything that has anything with rock in it, anything that has Fulci in it, I'm all about it. Check it out. Uh, Lucio Fulci film, bam. Uh, super excited about this. Got a bunch of special features on it, interviews and, and whatnot, man. And uh, wow, man, I can't wait. Like I said, I can't wait for this one. Murder Rock, probably a crappy film. But I tell you, man, these movies like this put me in the line as you look on the back right here. I don't know how well you can see that. But as you think, this puts me in the line of these movies. And I don't know where I have it right now. Uh, but anyways, as I'm trying to look, never mind. Anyways, uh, yeah, right here. These are my movies like these 
right here when you get into my black roses and and you get into rock and roll nightmare this is kind of in that vein and i can't wait to see it it's lucio fulci so i know it's gonna have a lot of gore uh but anyway scorpion release next one up is my, bought it for the wife bought it for me and it is the moon age daydream david bowie um not really necessarily a documentary in my opinion this is more of a a life diary, diary. uh and i loved it it was filmed by brett morgan and what i love about this one is you get to see a lot of concert footage you get to see a lot of uh things like that but it's very trippy it puts you in the mind of watching if you'd have watched uh, pink floyd the wall back in the day some really trippy colors and stuff going on there's some interviews this thing is narrated. They did it with the narration of David Bowie, almost like he was looking back in out of his body experience and just telling his story. And it's really cool. It starts from his Ziggy Stardust and works his way all the way through, man. It was really, really well done. It's, this is this is really entertaining, right, love? And uh, I definitely recommend it. It's uh, Moon Age Daydream, David Bowie, especially if you're a David Bowie fan, pick that thing up. Uh, next up is another one picked up at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Could not believe it was in there. And this is the uh, WB release of Godzilla King of the Monsters. Got to get you some Godzilla on, right? Godzilla King of the Monsters. And I love, actually really enjoy this one. I like kind of the new Godzilla films. Uh, this one right here has, uh, I can't even remember her name. It's uh, the girl from uh, Stranger Things. Daggone it. Uh, played 11. Anyways, sorry. Brain farting on her name. But anyways, uh, pretty good flick right here. For a buck 25 on Blu-ray, you dag on right, I'm getting me some Godzilla. <laughs> you got to have some kaiju. Uh, how about this one, which is Escape Plan number two. I got Escape Plan one somewhere. Uh, but this is Escape Plan two with Sylvester Stallone and Bautista. Uh, I haven't seen this one. I've seen the first one, but this is the second one. I don't know. Uh, probably... Probably not as good as the first one, <laughs> but I'm, I'm a sucker for Sylvester Stallone, so there you go. Buck 25. Another one is, uh, this was a funny story behind this one. This was Pearl and I. This was our date, our first date movie night watch together, and it's Dwayne Johnson in Rampage, yes, and plays a special part in our souls, so uh, this is a very special movie for us. I know it's Rampage, whatever. I'm a sucker for Dwayne Johnson, but it was our date night. It was our first date night movie watched it in raleigh north carolina won't never forget it rampage so we picked it up on blu-ray and i think i actually own this one already but it's okay i'll get another copy of it <laughs> it was date night right love mm -hmm. that was a good night all right so next up here is a gift from uh our good friend mark and this is the underworld evolution on blu-ray underworld evolution on blu-ray um uh, man this is I, I don't know where this fell in the series i think it was like number three uh, so this is, I think, the third one in the series, and Pearl and I and Mark watched this together again virtually not too long ago. Kate Beckinsale, Scott Speedman, really good. I'm gonna tell you what, there is one of the lead vampires in this one that looks phenomenal. I mean, the special effects in this one is outstanding, and he's actually really creepy. I don't know if you can see him right here, uh, but this little creature right here, and it's Marcus, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Marcus. Dude, man. Mm. Love this movie. Underworld Evolution. Get it. Got it. Love it. Another one picked up at Dollar Tree for $1.25. Don't know nothing about it, but uh, this is a WB release. Lean Nelson and Neeson, I should say. And who else is this? Uh, Joe Kinnelman. Anyways, Ed Harris is in it, and I love Ed Harris, but it's run all night. Uh, some kind of action flick. I do like Ian Nils, uh, Neeson. I always keep saying Nelson. It's Neeson and Ed Harris. So I'm all about that. Let's get it. It's buck twenty five. Uh, anybody seen it? Let me know. So that is some of the Blu-rays there. Let's put these over here. Oh my gosh! I'm getting movies everywhere, and I have to redo all these. There to go. Fall. All right. Uh, next up, we'll do a few more Blu-rays here. Uh, let's do these right here, so I don't drop everything. So we'll put them over here. Uh, first up is our Severn release. And I picked this one up um, mainly because I absolutely love and adore this movie. But the second reason is for the double-double uh, series that we're doing with Ian Urza. We're doing a uh, Rogerio Diodato episode. And unfortunately, we lost Rogerio very recently. And uh, But I picked up House on the Edge of the Park from Severn, Blu-ray release. 
Uh, absolutely. Look, I want you to see David Hess, man. That, this dude right here, man, uh, I got to interview him years ago before he passed. Such a great character, uh, actor, amazing musician, a great guy. Like, he plays some of the sleaziest characters in any horror movie or any action flick. But he was the nicest guy, man, in real life. And, and it still brings a tear to my eye when I think about him passing, man. It's gone way too long. Uh, but I hadn't even opened this one. But I bought this one uh, for the podcast, but also because I need it. Like, I need this in my collection. I don't know if many of you have seen it. Some of you have. Some of you haven't. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now. It's, it's a hard-to-watch film because it's very visceral. There are some rape scenes in this film that are very hard to watch, uh, but it's still such a phenomenal release. And the one thing that I really love about this is, as I get all these straight, is it comes with the Blu-ray, okay? You get the Blu-ray. You also get the documentary, which I just uh, watched actually today, Diodato Holocaust, which was really, really, really good. Diodato Holocaust. And it's kind of an interview with him, and he's talking about his career. It's really interesting. Uh, and also, you got the CD soundtrack of House on the Edge of the Park. And I think it was Claudio Simonetti, I'm pretty sure, that did the soundtrack. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's who did the soundtrack. But anyways, uh, House on the Edge of the Park, really, really, really outstanding film. Picked this up through Severin, and super excited to have it and own it. Uh, amazing packaging, and absolutely love David Hess, so... If you don't own it, get it. Uh, next up here is a DVD, and unfortunately, it's only on DVD, but it's another Rosario Diodato's, and this is from the Shameless Collection, and uh, this is Phantom of the Death, or Phantom of Death, and uh, this one, uh, wow, it's also called AKA Off Balance. I can't show you the back because there's some nudity and whatnot, and I can't get, <laughs> I can't put nudity on here, uh, but anyways, Shameless release this one. I did not find, I don't think there's ever been a Blu-ray uh, maybe it'll get a Blu-ray release, but we're going to be reviewing this for the podcast really soon. But Phantom of Death from Shameless Rosario Diodato. Uh, next up was my first time buying anything from this label. And uh, it's Indicator, and the movie is called The Devil's Men. And this one right here stars Donald Plaisance, and I'm a sucker for Donald Plaisance. It also has Peter Cushing in it. Holy cow. What heavy hitters do we have? Uh, this one right here, and once again, my first time buying anything from this label, Indicator. Uh, reached out to Moods uh, from 22 Shots of Moods on Moods for it, and uh, he has a great YouTube channel, by the way. Uh, but anyways, uh, mentioned, asked him, and he's like, yeah, great label. So here's a booklet that comes with it, and it kind of puts you in the mind of like an Arrow video release, how they have the booklets and stuff, some pictures of Donald Placence, and it's like an essay type thing, you know. So we do have that in the book, and then we have da -da -da -da, the Blu-ray, the Blu-ray, and then we also have the reversible sleeve. So we have the, make sure there's nothing. Yep, okay. So there is the Devil's Men release there. And then we also have the actual uh, cover that they have on the outside. So there, as we get that back in there slowly and gingerly, bam. It's called the Devil's Men. It says they're, uh, they were possessed. So I'm super excited to have that one. Uh, next one up here is from Synapse Films. And this one, I uh, absolutely love Bigfoot. I'm a huge fan of Bigfoot. Anything Bigfoot just turns me on. It makes me happy. It makes me happy. Super happy. And this one is from Synapse. And it's called Creature from the Black Lake. Reviewed this recently on our Cryptid episode for Land of the Creeps. It's got Jack Elam, uh, John David Carson, Doug Taylor. It's actually entertaining as hell. Uh, if you haven't seen it, man, I definitely highly recommend it. Uh, older flick. And then it also comes with the uh, 2023 catalog from Synops Films in it. And then there's your Blu-ray release. So, bam. Excited to have that one. Uh, let's see. Coming up next is a first time for me as well. And uh, thanks to uh, our buddy Ian Urza and Moods once again for giving me some recommendations on this label. And it's Cauldron. Cauldron. C A U. Uh, L-D-R-O-N is the label, and I picked up, I love, 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 love Lucio Fulci, man. Y'all know I love Lucio Fulci. Check this baby out, Contraband. Uh, this is a Euro crime flick, and I absolutely love Contraband. I have not seen it in many years, but I do love it. It's very graphic. Look at this scene on the back. Uh, get up real close, man. Brain matter, dude. I'm telling you right now, this movie is insane. Got some really great action in it. Hard case. Uh kind of shell and then you got the movie inside right here is the movie 
and then we got this booklet right here and then there's some more now check this out it also comes with these postcards i said booklet but it's the postcard so basically you get a postcard right here bam bam and i won't go through all of them but you get these postcards inside the movie uh which is so freaking awesome but i'm super excited on this i love it check out the uh inside art right here of contraband i like what i did was reversed it because it has this cover and i went ahead and reversed it to that cover so i can have both uh so there it is reverse sleeve the naples connection bam contraband i love oh, 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 let me put, put, put. love you're supposed to keep me on guard I, I didn't put them back in there there we go all right so <laughs> <laughs> absolutely love this this is from cauldron my first time owning anything from so super excited and to go along with that i picked up the american rickshaw sergio martino i love sergio martino and this is his uh weird 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 action flick and uh it's the way that uh is the way is not the ordinary way <laughs> the way that is the way is not the ordinary way yeah cauldron uh it's got the case as well love that and then we open up inside and you got the blu-ray bam bam you got the uh artwork like what you had there but you also i flipped it and got this artwork okay so we got this one I went ahead and done this one since I got that one on the other. And this one comes with a mini, 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 mini little couple page book here. Okay, it's not much, not outstanding. Uh, but it does have some, oh, yep, a little bit of nudity there. <laughs> uh, some pictures in here. <laughs> I can't tell you that one because I cannot get flagged. Uh, but it's American Rick Shaw. And uh, looking forward to this. I have not seen this one yet. Looking forward to it. Cauldron. Uh, next one up here is another Cauldron release. And uh, this one... Uh, super excited about as well and uh, this one is from uh, Luciano Onetti and Nicholas Onetti uh, but this one's called Abracadabra another cauldron release does not have the slip cover case but uh, what the eye sees and the ear hears the mind believes uh, really excited about this one and uh, just kind of a fantasy uh, got your blu-ray and it comes with the uh, original soundtrack from Luciano Onetti uh, so we do get that inside this. So that's super exciting. Anytime you get a CD soundtrack, some of these Italian horror films, man, you got to love it. Uh, but it's Abracadabra from Cauldron. Next one up is another Cauldron release. And I got to open up. I bought this one uh, mainly because I'll be reviewing this one coming up in the near future. I don't know how far down the road, but it'll definitely be coming up for our Lucia, or not for our Lucia, but for our uh, Jallos. And this one right here is called The Black uh, the Crimes of the Black Cat. Uh, this one is from Cauldron, The Black Cat. Co uh, Crimes of the Black Cat. <laughs> I'll start talking Spanish here in a minute. Uh, here we go. Got this hard card. It's just a hard card. And then got a few uh, labels, which I actually own all of them right now. So if you can see that, yep, I own all those now. Uh, so Cauldron release, The Crimes of the Black Cat. Let me know. Nine lives fueled by murder. Uh, so if you've seen this one, let me know what you think about it. Uh, next one up to finish out my cauldron releases is uh, another flick that I was super eager to get. And uh, it's called Their Nightmare Was Further Than Fear. It was Beyond Terror. And it's a movie called Beyond Terror. And uh kind of was a sucker as soon as I saw the cover of this one. It's got freaking uh, these guys on motorcycles. It's one of those motorcycle type uh, flicks, man. And there's, man, this looks freaking, this thing looks sick, man. It looks sick, honestly. You got another card once again. And I want to take it out because I'll show you the back artwork of this one. Uh, yeah, I think I can show that one. So there's the cover art for the, uh, I guess, the original release or one of the original releases. Hope you can see that. Uh, I went ahead and left the other one out. But uh, super, 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 super excited to have this one as well. Beyond Terra. Uh, man, I'm excited. Pearl, you were excited to watch that one? Yeah. Sure. Uh, so yeah, Cauldron. That's the last of my Cauldron releases. So let me put these down. And uh, a few more Blu-rays, and then we'll get to the 4Ks. Next up here was a gift from Ian Urza, and this is a, I love, anybody knows, my favorite Italian horror director is Dario Argento, hands down. Uh, probably my top four horror directors of all time, or directors of all time. And uh, it's Dario Argento, and he sent me this movie, Sleepless. I have not seen Sleepless yet, so I'm super uh, excited to watch this one. And this was released by Scorpion. Uh, releasing, so I'm super excited to have that, and I really do appreciate uh, Ian uh, gifting me this for sure to add to my Dario Argento collection. 
So if you've ever seen this one, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. I'm super, uh, super curious, man. Max Van Sadow or Max Von Sadow is uh, one of the stars of this movie. And I've heard good things about it, so I'm super excited. So that, to go with my Dario Argento collection, uh, these are upgrades, as I've already had them on DVD, but an upgrade, and it's the uh, Blu-ray release. Uh, yeah. Yep, just one more shirt, but uh, Deep Red. This is Deep Red. I picked up a few of these, and these are the hard uh, arrow releases. They have these hard, thick cases, and I love it. Comes with this uh, huge book essay book thing man check this thing out it is multiple 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 pages look i'm gonna do this <laughs> lots and lots of stuff there super thick book so it come with that as well as look at this now man i love pearl i'm a sucker for it you know i am check this out we got poster we got the original profondo here you go profondo russell deep red so there's profondo russell Bam, I hope you can see that. Or you got the newer commissioned art deep red. Bam. Uh, I don't know which one you prefer. I kind of like them both, but I do like the creepy doll. I do like that creepy doll look. So I, I don't know which one I'll keep. We'll, we'll find out. And then you open it up, and then you got your, uh, here we go, Ultra HD. You have your Ultra HD Blu-ray. So this is the uh, 4K release. And yeah, it is the 4K. I did get the 4K. I forgot. Did I get the 4K? Ah, I don't even remember. Maybe it says my 4K. Anyways. Your finger. <laughs> yeah, right? Duh. <laughs> but anyways, it's deep red. Absolutely love it, man. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this in here. Bam. I always hate putting these in because I'm afraid I'm going to damage something. I'm going to damage that. So it's deep red, one of my all-time favorite. Uh, here's another Blu-ray release. Same type case. This is the uh, Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Uh, man, such a masterpiece here. Definitely one of the best uh, giallos ever made, in my opinion. And that's not just because it's Dario Argento. But this set right here is freaking awesome as well. Hard case. Uh, comes with also the uh, Dario Argento book uh, essay. And it's full of pages and pictures and just all kinds of goodies. And then this one also comes with the uh, double-sided poster. We'll pull that out for you as well so you guys can see it. And... Uh, Right here, yeah, we can show that one. So we got this poster art here, okay? So as we bring it down and over, and then we got the one that's on the artwork of the movie itself. And then we got the bird there with the, I hope you can see that, man. Uh, such a great release here. And then I have the, I'd already flipped, that's the reverse sleeve, so I put that sleeve since didn't see that out there, so I went ahead and done that. Uh, this one comes with some postcards. You got postcards inside here. Uh, so we got that going on as well as we got the movie. And I'll turn it a little bit. But you got the Blu-ray release of it. And then you got all this other goodies right here. The DVD. Super excited, man. Love Dario Argento. And this is one of my all-time favorite films of his. And it's The Bird with Crystal Plumage via Arrow. Love having this release. Next up here, to keep with the theme. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. When you start getting into these films right here, here's the thing. Like, when you start looking at movies and you start looking at the uh, just the ultimate collections and you're like, man, I got to have me a good flick. I want to see a good flick. And, uh, man, what a freaking, oh, my God. This, I don't even know what to say about it. It's the Cat and Nine Tails, okay? If you've never seen the Cat and Nine Tails by Dario Argento, man, I'm telling you, it's a really fun watch, man. This one right here is a hard case as well. Uh, you got your book, as uh, your other ones do, so you get the essay book, uh, about the same amount of pages, and then you get the poster, so let's do the poster here real quick. I told you it's going to be a lengthy video, guys and gals, and I apologize but man, I'm super excited. Check out this cover art here. What do you think about that poster? See that poster with the cat? Isn't that kind of neat? I like the yellow in it. Uh, I actually dig this one, right? But then you got the cat and nine tails that you see on the outside here. Uh, this one's actually really cool as well. Uh, but what I like about this one is you got Carl Malden and you got some of the stars in it down the side. I just really dig this poster, man. Really do. But uh, I love the movie as well. I think the movie is solid. Uh, I went ahead and reversed the sleeve. That's the sleeve I put on it, and I really enjoyed this one. This is a really ins 
super, super cool movie. Uh, once again, comes with the uh, postcards inside and also the Blu-ray and the DVD, man. So it's the Cat of Nine Tails. Super excited on this one. Uh, Dario Argento, there again, being one of my favorite actors of all time. And this is one of the trilogies of the uh, kind of the animal uh, trilogy that he did to Bird with Crystal Plumage, Cat of Nine Tails, and and uh, some good stuff there, man. All right, so let's move on. We'll go to my Mario Baba collection. Uh, we just reviewed this recently on our Double Double Episode 2 for Land of Creeks, uh, Ian Erz and I. And it's Mario Baba's Blood and Black Lace, which is one of, I said, I know I said Bird with Crystal Plumage. I'm telling you this until you, Mario Baba's uh, hit Bird, uh, Blood and Black Lace is one of the absolute greatest uh, Jalo films of all time. This comes with the Blu-ray, comes with the DVD, comes with the CD soundtrack. Uh, super, super excited to have that as well. As doo -doo 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 -doo, comes with this little book here, the Blood and Black Lace book, and uh, got some pictures and whatnot in there. It's really good, and Mario Baba, man, does such a tremendous job in this one. Uh, so, yeah, check it out. Blood and Black Lace from Era Video. Next one up here was a gift uh, from Mark. Our friend Mark, man, is super excited to have this when he sent me. Uh, not knowing that I'm collecting my Mario Baba collection up, he sent me this uh, Planet of the Vampires. Planet of the Vampires. This is released by Kino Labor, and Kino does some great jobs, especially on some older classic films. And uh, let me get you a real close up of here. Let's see that real close up. Love the artwork on this release right here. I think it's phenomenal, man. And as soon as I seen this, I was like, Mark, dude, this is freaking awesome. Check out the uh art there <laughs> is that not cool for mm -hmm. like that is so freaking awesome right there uh and then the back once again this is the blu-ray release there and it also has the original this art on the reverse sleeve but i left it with the other uh since i had to slip cover case but super excited about this appreciate it so much mark for uh gifting us this man absolutely i'm so excited to have it in my mario baba collection uh, next up here was another for the podcast. This was actually our very first double double episode in Urza. And I bought this one, this Mario Bava. And this is Evil Eye. Also, The Girl Who Knew Too Much. There's two versions of this film, uh, both black and white, but you got the American version and the Italian version. Uh, two totally different films if you watch both versions. And you get both of them in this Kino release. Once again, another Kino Labor. Unfortunately, the Blu ray has been. Uh, uh, I guess you would call it out of print. So it's pricey if you can find it, but there it is. So I was just excited to have it. DVD is just as fine for me as Blu-ray. 1963, The uh, Evil Eye, or AKA The Girl Who Knew Too Much. Check that out. <clears throat> All right, next up here is a Lucio Fulci Blu-ray. And I love, 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 love era video. And I love Lucio Fulci. This is one of my all-time favorite Fulci films. Uh, it's City of the Living Dead. Now this is an awesome flick too, man. If you haven't never seen it, it's Lucio Fulci, City of the Living Dead. And this was some of the older... Arrow Video did a bunch of these releases back in the day where they had like this little uh, window open. And they did a lot of those releases. I don't have... I think this may be my first release like that because they, they just don't do them no more. Uh, but I found this one. This was the 30th anniversary edition. And absolutely excited, ecstatic. Man, I'm so, so freaking over moon having this release. Uh, open it up. And you got the Blu-ray, bam, as well as you got all these goodies in here, man. Like Arrow Video, man, freaking went all out on this release. You got, uh, I won't go through them all, but you got these postcards. Lucio Fulci, City Living Dead post, uh, postcards. You also have this little small short essay book, uh, mini book right here that I can't get to open. But anyways, I uh, got some imagery from it and everything, it's really good. And then Arrow also went out and said, oh, you want me to go one further? Let me go a little bit further. And I'm like, what? And like, yeah, let me give you another step. I'm gonna give you something a little extra, extra, cause we really like it. Now he did it for all of us. But check out this, the poster. Check out that City Living Dead poster. Holy cow, is that not absolutely stunning? That's absolutely beautiful. That is such a masterful piece of a poster. Uh, magnifique. And then you flip it over, and here's the Gates of Hell, which is the second, and this is the other alternate title, the Gates of Hell. That's not bad either. That's actually really cool. Check that one out. Dude, that kind of has that Dawn of the Dead look. You know, it had kind of the half-zombie head. 
that's a freaking amazing poster too. So what the flip, guys? Like how how do you choose? How you don't? You get a double sided poster. It's okay. So you don't even have to choose, right? That's exactly right. So that's how Arrow does it. So Arrow went all out on this one, man. Super excited to have it. Uh, really good deal on this one on eBay as well, man. So that was awesome. Once again, Arrow Videos release a city of the living dead. Awesome, 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 awesome. Oh, man, such goodies. <laughs> uh, next up is a Luciano Arcoli. Uh, this is a uh, film called The Forbidden Photos of a Lady uh, Above Suspicion. We're going to be reviewing this on an upcoming episode as well of the Double Double. Uh, so this one, a Italian giallo. Here you go. Bam, you got your movie. How about your reverse art sleeve? Eh, I think we can show that. Not, that ain't got no nudity in it. If it does, it don't. It don't. So we'll show that. And it comes with this uh, Aerofilm 4K Ultra Join the Cult, the Jaws of Death type little card. Uh, once again, the Blu-ray. Super excited. I've never seen this one, so I'm really looking forward to uh, getting into some Luciano or Coley. Uh, so that one. And that'll go really good with... Um, that will go really good with my Death Walks. Y'all remember last episode, last Blu-ray DVD update, we've done the Death Walks. So there's another of those. So that'll go really good with those. Uh, so anyway, so bam. Uh, next up is one film that blew me away in 2022. Pearl knows it did, man. This movie was fascinating. Ordered it on era video release, and it's called Two Witches. Two Witches, uh, new release. And this is a phenomenal uh, film it really blew me away really uh ultra not ultra budget but it was a low budget flick that uh they just outstanding see the little ghost looking eyes see them white eyes that's so free this movie has some moments that freaked me out and then this is the alternate poster art where they look a little bit more normal but with some more white eyes uh this one right here you got the blu-ray inside bam you got the alternate page art that you can do whatever you want to do with and then it comes with this. Uh, you got your... Yeah, see what you're missing? If you don't stream Aero Video, do it. It's called Aero Streaming. I think it's Aero Film or Aero something. Get their channel, man. It's only like four bucks, six bucks, something like that a month. Highly recommend it. it got so much good stuff on their channel. Uh, that's how I ended up watching Two Witches, and then we bought it. Bam, bam. Look at the back of that. How creepy. How creepy. How about the front of that? How super creepy. Absolutely. And then it also comes with, because there again, Arrow likes to say, hey, Greg and Mortis, I love you. I know that you spent some money. I want to help you out. I'm going to give you a poster. And you're like, what? you giving me a poster? No, they're giving everybody a poster. Bam. I get a poster. You get a poster. You get a poster. You get a poster. All of you get posters. Bam. Double-sided. Look at that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Super nice. So thank you, Arrow Video. Uh, for this release, man, I'm super excited on this one. And it is, once again, Two Witches made my top 10 of 2022. Absolutely love this movie. And then the last of our Blu-rays is the Italian. This is the red edition. This is the Italian Giallo Collection from Era Video uh, set right here. This is a tremendous set, guys and gals. Uh, man, this found a really good deal on this one as well. Uh, it comes with the hard case. Okay, check this out. See the artwork? How cool is that? Huh? Pretty tight, right? Pretty tight. And then you get the movies. Here's the movies you get. You get uh, Ray Milan, and uh, this is the pajama case. The pajama case. Really good Italian giallo. This is a really good giallo film, okay? Uh, so the release here, you get the movie, and let me put my finger over a cartoon butt. <laughs> but you got the blu-ray in there it's super cool if you're not seeing pajama girl case it's really good and then we also have right here oh man yes 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 russellini check us out it's the possessed the possessed i've never seen this one i'm super excited to watch this one uh once again it comes with the blu-ray has the reverse art uh which is this one right here check out the yeah, I think we can watch it. <laughs> the reverse art, which is really good. You got to be careful with Italian Jalo films because they do throw some nudity in there on you. And then before you know it, and then they have this card right here that you don't really have to have. But anyways, uh, the Possessed Blu-ray. And then the last one that's in the set is the uh, Lugio Bazzani, and it is Fifth Chord. Okay, Fifth Chord. The Fifth Chord is freaking phenomenal as well. I absolutely love this film right here. Uh, there is your Blu-ray, and then you have your reverse artwork. 
uh, right there with some cool graphics and whatnot, man. It's really good. This is another outstanding film, like for real, like such a good flick. Uh, so anyways, the uh, Jalo collection here, put it back in its case. And uh, it's cool, man. You get the possessed fifth cord and pajama case. Bam. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, there's also a yellow. I don't know what they call these sets. I don't even know if they have a set. They're essentials. But anyways, they have like this red burgundy one. They got a yellow one. They have a black one. They have a white one's coming out. And I got to get all these, man. I don't know how I'm going to ever afford it. Uh, but we're going to get them. Got to have them. All right, next up is some 4Ks, and then we'll be done with this here long-ass video. Uh, first one up here is a flick that I have not seen, special uh, gift from our buddy Mark, and this is called The Accountant. This one is, uh, I don't know much about it. He says it's really good, but it does have John Burdenthal uh, from the Walking Dead series as well as Ben Affleck. Uh, my son had told me about this years ago, and he said it was actually a lot, a lot of action and stuff in it. So we'll check it out, The Accountant. As well as another one from Mark that we love. Uh, this one is Bruce Willis's Die Hard on 4K. Man, the ultimate Christmas gift, right? Right? It, uh, it's a Christmas movie. I love this movie. Pearl, not such a big fan. Me, huge fan. I love Die Hard. So, love when it's Christmas time. I got to watch it by myself, right? Mm. Eh, she's not a big fan of it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> uh, next up was another one he gave us in the realm of the old underworlds. He gave me the original Underworld. He sent Pearl and I both the original Underworld on 4K. Watched that with him uh, recently, and it, it's outstanding. I had not seen it in many, many years, many moons. It looked beautiful on the projector, man. It's awesome. So he gifted us Underworld, as well as this one, which we haven't had a chance to watch yet, and it is Blood Wars, the 4K release of Underworld Blood Wars. And we haven't checked this one out yet. I'm sure we're going to watch it together uh, really soon. So... Kate Beckinsale, once again, I think this is maybe the sixth one. Four, fifth, six, something like that. I'm not sure where it falls in the line, but we'll check that one out. So thank you, Mark, for that. As well as the Blu-ray just recently, or the 4K, this is Sharon Stone, Gene Hackman, Russell Crowe, and Leonardo DiCaprio, <laughs> as I like to call it, DiCaprio. Uh, the Quick and the Dead, a Western, dude, 4K Western. I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, I'm trying to get into some Westerns, slowly but surely. I'm doing some Italian horror spaghetti westerns. Does that kind of count? But anyways, the quick and the dead, man. Super excited. So thank you for that, Mark. Uh, as well as the 4K release of uh, John Wick. Man, I absolutely love this film. Saw it. I believe I saw that one in the theater. Uh, love this movie, man. And to have it on 4K, Mark, man, is so super cool. So thank you for that, man. Love it, love it, love it. As well as this one I picked up from Era Video. This is the uh, Sergio Carbucci, or Kabucci, and it's Frank Nero, and it is called Django. Has anybody out there seen this one? Absolutely love this movie. Uh, this was on the Arrow Player uh, streaming channel, and uh, I love Frank Nero. I'd never seen this one, and caught bits and pieces of it, uh, Pearl and I, one night, and there was a lot of blood. There was a lot of cool scenes in it, so I went ahead and picked it up on 4K, and uh, super excited to own it, man. This one... This has got a Gatling gun scene in it that will blow you away, man. That little Gatling gun right there is freaking awesome, man. Love this movie. Glad to own that one. As well as I picked this one up. This one took forever to get, guys. Like, forever. Holy cow, did it take a long time. But it's the ultimate classic Steven Spielberg, Toby Hooper, Poltergeist. Ordered this one, and I guess it was one of those on Amazon, but I guess it's one you had to wait. Man, we waited, what, two months for this thing almost? But they had it for like seven bucks, man. So, hey, I didn't argue. It's Poltergeist, Warner Pearl and I's favorite paranormal, supernatural type films, man. Love this freaking movie. Uh, awesome. So, to have that on 4K, absolutely love it. Uh, one of my all-time favorite Stanley Kubrick films on 4K. Another one I had, this was way back from the Black Friday deals, was The Clockwork Orange, man. This is an upgrade. I've had it on DVD. I've had it on VHS. I've had it on Blu-ray. Now I have it on 4K. Love this one. Oh, man. Roddy McDowell, man. What a freaking good. What a freaking good movie, man. This movie, hmm. It just don't, I don't know what it is. Malcolm McDowell. I said Roddy McDowell. I meant Malcolm McDowell. Malcolm McDowell, man, it's something about him, man. He's so twisted in this movie. This is that ultra violence. This is where, if you know Rob Zombie's Dragula, then, you know, this is from this movie. I got a big, huge, what is it, 18 by 24, 24 by something. It's huge oil painting type poster of Clockwork Orange with all this imagery. It's black and white. 
absolutely love this movie so freaking much and this is the clockwork orange and i i'll do this without the code but anyways clockwork orange on 4k man super excited on that one love it uh next one up is a gift from our buddy mark and this is my favorite in this uh series or in this franchise and this is another mel gibson and it's mad max the road warrior i seen this movie way back in the drive-in when i was a kid man can you believe that it scared the bejeebas out of me man this one scared me so freaking much as a kid and i absolutely love this freaking movie and now i have it on 4k what Yes, I only on 4K. Thank you, Mark. Man, this is such a great movie, man. Such a great movie. Thank you, Mark. And then last one. <laughs> Did I save the best for last? Mm -hmm. As I'm looking at my wife right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me hear it. <sighs> oh, so there she goes. I, <laughs> I had to, man. 45 year anniversary of Saturday Night Fever <laughs> on 4K. Look at that. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cover. I got to admit it. Yes, I'm man enough to say it. I absolutely love this movie. Check out. Man, it's such a beautiful freaking slipcover case for this. And then you got the movie. And then you open it up. And then you got the... And then you got the Blu-ray and the DVD in here. And, of course, we've already done the digital code. And watch this on the projector. And, good Lord, did it look nice. And John Travolta doing his dance. And, man, this is a really solid film. Uh, so, yeah. Did I say the best for last? Mm -hmm. Pearl says I did. So Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> so anyways, that is my Blu-ray DVD update. Other than uh, 70 movies we picked up for 30 bucks DVDs, but I'm not going to go through all them and bore you all to death. But, <laughs> but that has been your Blu-ray DVD update. If you liked this uh, video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Click that subscribe button down below. Uh, some more content coming up as well. I really do appreciate you sticking in with us through this long video. Uh, I've had a lot of stuff I was super excited to show, man. Some good stuff. Uh, if you love horror movie podcasts and you've never heard of Land of the Creeps, man, I would super love if you would subscribe via I, or Apple, I guess it is now, you know, Stitcher, Spotify, everywhere you can find uh, podcasts, we're there. It's Land of the Creeps, or you can check us out at landofthecreeps.blogspot.com. That's our website. And uh, go over there and listen to us as well. We'd really appreciate it. We have gone weekly now. Uh, that's something new. It's the last show we didn't. Uh, we're now weekly. So, hey, super excited. You're going to get Jalos. You're going to get television horror. You're going to get movie reviews. Uh, we're starting a new series that's going to take us throughout the whole year. We're going to look at each year in the decade of 1980. So we're doing our top five movies in the year 1980, 81 throughout. So that's going to take us throughout the whole year, as well as some other cool stuff, themed shows that we're doing. So uh, we're exciting times over at Land of Creeps. So check us out, landofcreeps.blogspot.com. You can email me if you got any questions, concerns, or you just want to chat. It's gregamortis666 at gmail.com. It's G-R-E-G-A-M-O-R-T-I-S-666 at gmail.com. We'd love for that. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. And uh, until next time, as I always like to say, help keep horror alive. We'll do that one movie at a time, one review at a time. And sometimes we like to keep disco alive. Huh? Sometimes we like to keep a little action going too. So we love you guys. We'll see you on the flip side. Until next time. Peace. <laughs>